Welcome to section 2, Implementing Neural Networks and Deep Learning. In this section, we will go through a linear algebra refresher in Python, implement a logistic regression model, implement a shallow neural network, understand the role of activation functions, and implement a deep neural network. In this video, we learn about matrices using Python and NumPy. In this video, we are going to take a look at how data is handled in Python, how to carry out element-wise operations and matrix multiplication using NumPy, and how to find the transpose of a matrix. NumPy provides fast alternatives to math operations in Python and is designed to work efficiently with matrices. First, we execute the import command. The most common way to work with numbers in NumPy is through NDRA objects. They are similar to Python lists but can have any number of dimensions. Every NumPy object that you make, be it vectors, matrices or tensors, eventually stores scalars. So while creating an array, you have to specify the type but every item must have the same type. To create a scalar in NumPy, you call the function np.array. To check the shape of the array, you call the shape attribute. An empty pair of parentheses indicate it has zero dimensions. Even though NumPy scalars are inside arrays, you can still use them like normal scalars. For example, the scalar addition here. To create a vector, you pass a Python list to the array function. If you check the shape of the vector, you get. However, to perform matrix operation using this vector, you either have to reshape it or use the special slicing technique. To create a matrix in NumPy, you supply a list of lists where each list represents a row. To create a 3 cross 3 matrix and to access the sixth element, you have to use two indices. Tensors are just like vectors and matrices, but they can have many more dimensions. To create a tensor in NumPy, let's take a look at some element wise operations. If you wanted to add 5 to every item in a Python list, you would have to use a for loop. However, this is very slow compared to NumPy operations. To carry out the same operation using NumPy, let's take a look at some element-wise matrix operations. The same functions and operators that work with scalars and matrices also work with other dimensions. For example, here we initialize two matrices and perform matrix addition. However, we need to make sure that the items that we perform our operation on are of compatible shapes. This gives us back an error because both these arrays are of non-compatible shapes. Let's take a look at matrix multiplication. You can carry out element-wise multiplication with a scalar or even multiply two matrices of compatible shape element-wise. The matrix product can be calculated using two NumPy functions. One, the matmul function to find the matrix product using NumPy, we use the matmul function. The matmul function works only with compatible matrices. It turns out that the result of dot and matmul function are the same if matrices are two-dimensional. While these functions return the same results for two-dimensional data, you should be careful about which you choose when working with other shapes. You can read more about differences and find links to other NumPy functions in the matmul and dot documentation. Getting the transpose of a matrix is really easy in NumPy. You simply have to access its T attribute. NumPy does this without actually moving any data in memory. It simply changes the way it indexes the original matrix, so it's quite efficient. However, that also means you need to be careful with how you modify objects, because they are sharing the same data. 